Daily Bible Time, Friday morning, Dominic Steele here, and we're thinking about 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 12 to 15. If any man builds on this foundation using gold, silver, costly stones, wood, hay or straw, his work will be shown for what it is, because the day will bring it to light. It'll be revealed with fire, and the fire will test the quality of each man's work. If what he's built survives, he'll receive his reward. If it's burned up, he'll suffer loss. He himself will be saved, but only as one escaping through the flames. Let's just think about that word quality and quantity. I was at Katoomba Christian Convention once, and there was thousands and thousands of people there. And I walked through the huge crowds and stared into the faces I saw person after person that I used to know but had drifted out of contact with. And then amongst the group, there was individual after individual, kid after kid who now grown up but were in my youth group once upon a time. And I just had this little flash and uh, it hit me quite powerfully as I was walking down the aisle looking at these faces amongst this big crowd. Here's a little insight from God of a taste of your reward. That Bible study that you wrote back in, I don't know, 1993, that you only got four hours sleep for because you were figuring it out to lead to that youth group, or God was using that study to, to shape this person, and here they are, 20 years later, still going in Christ. And it could just be that when you get to heaven, there'll be hundreds of people who've come to Christ, grown in Christ, been ministered to Christ, benefited from your ministry, Because you built not with straw, but with stone. And that's actually part of what keeps me focused when I'm tired, when I'm exhausted. Part of what drives me back into my study to work on improving the talk that I'm giving this weekend is the idea of another person in heaven who's been built by costly stone. Now, a couple of little sub points. Don't you want that? Don't you want to get to heaven, not just escaping through the flames, but to be there with a legacy, a reward, something to show for your life? I mean, without you were the managing director of, I don't know, BHP, that won't mean much in eternity. That you were mayor of the inner west, that won't mean much in eternity. That you were a member of the parliament, that won't mean much in eternity. But as you walk around heaven and you see the face of a little child that you taught Sunday school to. You see the face of a a neighbor that you door knocked and you invited them to church. You see that face, that's gonna mean everything in the eternity to see your reward. And you know that every little thing you do in village church as a servant of Christ, it contributes to that reward. And on judgment day, there's gonna be an audit. There's gonna be an audit trail. You'll see the audit trail. I'm I'm very privileged when I teach the Bible at church on Sundays. I can look out at faces. I can, I mean, this is in a non-COVID era. I can see the penny drop in people's minds. I can see people have, ah, oh, that's it. But when you get to heaven, we'll all see, we'll all be rewarded for the labor that we do. A dollar that you gave, hundred dollars that you gave, $10,000 that you gave to support the labor of the gospel. You'll actually see what that money was spent on it'll all become clear and it'll become clear whether the money was spent on straw or costly stone i mean that you smiled when you welcomed somebody to church and the difference it made to them that day that'll become clear when you went out of your personal comfort zone you spotted the new person who was sitting uncomfortably in their chair you went over and welcomed them that'll become clear that extra trip to europe I mean, that's not going to mean much in eternity, but funding another ministry position and all the gospel work that gets done because of that appointment, that will mean the world. Thanks so much for joining us on Daily Bible Time this week and look forward to catching you on Monday morning.